class. Today we're going to be looking at the Russian Revolution. We already started a little bit of discussion about it when we were looking at World War I. But um, the worksheet that you need to be using to complete the notes are the 5W template worksheet. So what are we looking at? From the Russian Empire to the Soviet Union, the Russian Revolution. But well, why did the revolution take place? Well, Russia is going to fail to industrialize and they're going to remain poor. Um, the social order was dominated by the nobles, the priests, and the czar, and in Russia it is considered the king. Um, the majority were rural peasants, and this is similarities that we saw in the Latin Revolution, the American, Re well not the American, but the Latin Revolution and the French Revolution, where the majority of the class did not receive fair treatment. So the majority were rural peasants um, that didn't have a lot of money, they were struggling, they were poor, and you had these nobles, the priests, and then the czar are living really well. Um, also, Russian participation in World War I was a bad idea. It illustrated their weaknesses <coughs> as far as the factories wasn't able to produce weapons quick enough because they were behind. They didn't industrialize like the rest of the European countries did. So as far as making weapons and factories, they didn't have those resources. They had limited resources. And it, this war showed that. It showed the Russian people that they were not equipped to fight against the other European powers that had industrialized. So it was just a bad idea to get involved in the war. Uh, the czar is going to leave his home, his wife, to go fight in the war 